Lilio, you have now been around roughly two weeks uh, with us. How do you feel yourself? I feel very good. Uh, it's a new challenge for myself and uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I found a nice club with nice people around me, so I'm very happy. What have you already maybe learned from our team, maybe from our team members? Uh, so far it has been a short period, but uh, I have been learning a lot of uh, tactical uh, game, a lot of uh, the coach want and expect from us, and also step by step I'm learning uh, a lot by the, the players, by the, also the staff members, and uh, it has been good. Could you please uh, describe yourself a bit, maybe which kind of person you are uh, to our dear supporters? Where do you come from? Maybe a bit of your family, childhood? Uh, well, I come from uh, Brazil, as we all know. Uh, I live basically my whole life in São Carlos, it's where uh, we are based right now. And uh, I had a simple childhood, playing on the streets, football always. Uh, with my friends and uh, luckily I got this opportunity to have this period in my life and uh, but also I started to play in football when I was just seven years old and uh, football has been everything in my life and then when I was 15 I moved from my city and uh, to Sao Paulo and then I started to be more professional and uh, and four years later I came to Europe Maybe a lot of people don't know, where does your nickname Lilio come from? Uh, it, came, it comes from my, series, my sister, actually, and uh, because when she was a child, we are just one year different, she's a bit older than me, and uh, she could not say my name, Elinton, which is quite complicated for Brazilians. And uh, we have an auntie that always called her Lili, and uh, she couldn't pronounce my name, and she, maybe she told one day, if I'm Lily, he must be Lilio. And uh, she started to call me like this. Nobody understood why, but then it uh, stuck with me, this nickname, till nowadays. Could you tell us a bit of, about your career so far? You have played in many clubs and many countries, just naming a few uh, countries that you've been, of course, Brazil, Belgium, Israel, Cyprus, Finland, Malta, Sweden and Arabic uh, country. Um, could you tell us maybe a quick story about uh, one of the clubs or one of the countries that you memorize, memorize the most? Uh, I think uh, Belgium, because it was my first country. It uh, was also where I debuted professionally and uh, when I scored my first goal and I think uh, always gonna be one of my favorite countries. I have uh, a lot of nice memories from this country and also from my ex-club and uh, I believe uh, this was a uh, great time I spent there, this country, but uh, also I have also good times and memories from Estonia, so it's two of my favorite countries. Lilio, could you please tell uh, a bit of uh, your most recent club where you played in the highest division, Sport Tuampayo? How was there and maybe a bit of something interesting uh, to hear for our dear fans? Uh, I think the most exciting thing that happened to me was to play with this altitude. Uh, Wonkayo is 3,260 meters above the sea, so we almost don't have air to breathe. And uh, we had the precision over there during three weeks, and it was really, really hard for myself because we've never been in this type of uh, altitude. And uh, I think this was the, the hardest moment uh, in Peru, but uh, it was a good experience. Uh, I had this, uh, this goal in my career to play an uh, international cup and uh, I, su I succeeded to play there, the Copa Sudamericana. And uh, especially uh, the, the winning goal, you can say, uh, in the second match of the qualification came from me and uh, it was a special moment. To, to achieve this, uh, this goal, but not just I have, but also the club had. Could you please tell what kind of music you usually like to listen and maybe something about uh, how do you regularly prepare for a match day? Uh, about the music, I listen a bit of everything, but uh, my favorite uh, is more reggaeton. Uh, of course, I like a lot of samba and 
the Brazilian styles. But uh, it depends of the mood as well. You know, sometimes I like to just listen to acoustic music, to chill. And uh, before the match, I usually uh, try to, to concentrate. I watch videos on the, the opponent and uh, also focus on myself and the, the game plan, what we have. And uh, simple things, I listen to music to put my mood up right before the, the match and make this uh, pre-activation and after that full concentration of the match. Do, do you have a favorite artist? Favorite artist? Uh, I have quite few singers and uh, I can say John Mayer, for example, uh, at the same time Reggaeton Maluma or you know I have a lot of uh, favorite singers and also actors. I like a, a bit of uh, everything talking about entertainment, but uh, yeah, I like a lot of uh, a lot of people. Now you're back in Estonia actually at the current moment where we are doing this interview. We are in Turkey for a training camp, but why did you like the most about Estonia and why did you decide to take Levade's offer? Uh, like I said before, Estonia is a really nice place to live. I think the quality of life that Estonia provides to us foreigners is uh, pretty high. And this is really nice to me, the security you have, the, you know, everything. It's really nice. It's also the country is really beautiful. So it's a special place for myself. And uh, when Levadia made contact with me, I immediately got interested because Estonia is a special place where I live, really nice memories and uh, I decided to, to come to Levadia for a new challenge. Uh, when I left, I knew uh, my, my period here wasn't over, so now I want to start this new chapter with Levadia and be successful. Thanks a lot for your time and we all wish you best of luck for the upcoming season. Thank you very much.